Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. I hope you guys are doing great. So for today's video, we are going to discuss class 9th English chapter, The Sound of Music. So this story is divided into two parts and both of them are about musicians' biographies. So the first biography is of Evelyn Glenny. And the topic says Evelyn Glenny listens to sound without hearing it. Evelyn started gradually losing her hearing at the young age and by the time she was 11 her hearing was completely gone. But she was very passionate about music. One day she noticed a girl playing a xylophone and it was then that she decided she want to learn that instrument. Even though most of her teachers discouraged her but one of her teacher Ron Forbes spotted Evelyn's keen interest in music he encouraged her and he told her that if you want to learn you do not need to hear you just need to feel it when ron tuned two large drums evelyn discovered that when the higher drum played she could feel it from her waist up and the lower one from her waist down and she could sense different beats in different parts of her body When Evelyn was 16 years old she gave auditions for Royal Academy of Music and her score was one of the highest ever recorded score after that she never looked back by the time she completed her course she earned so many achievements she had the busiest international schedule and also she knew how to play multiple instruments Whenever she plays an on wooden stage she remove her shoes in order to feel vibrations pass through her feet and legs in 1991 she was also awarded as soloist of the year she was ideal for all the handicapped and deaf and dumb persons she gives all credits to her hard work and determination we should learn this from evelyn's story So this was all about Evelyn's story and now we'll move on with the Bismillah's story. In the next part we study biography about Bismillah Khan and the topic is the Shahnai of Bismillah Khan. This story is of that time when Mughal was ruling in India and Aurangzeb banned pungi. He used to get irritated by the sound of pungi. Then there was a barber in the palace who decided to improve the sound produced by the pungi. So he took hollow sticks and made seven holes in it. You must be wondering how barber knew to make this. So he belongs to a musician family. So he knew little bit about the music. And when he played that stick, the sound produced was soft and melodious. And when he played that in front of the shah aurangzeb and in front of everyone everyone in the court room loved it since the instrument was played by nai who is a barber in front of shah it was named as shah nai bismillah khan was born on 21st march 1926 and he took shah nai to the classical stage Until then the shahnai was only played into the temples and in the weddings. So Bismillah Khan belonged to a musician family. His grandfather Rasul Bukhs Khan was the shahnai nawaz of court of Bhojpur king and his father Pagumbar Bukhs was also a renowned singer. When Bismillah was 3 years old he went to his uncle's house with his mother. There his uncle Ali took him to Vishwanath temple in Banaras where Ali played shahnai. Bismillah loved it. Bismillah totally loved the sound made by the shahnai. Then for years Bismillah Khan practiced it in on the banks of the Ganga and even in the temples. Khan began to receive fame after he started playing on All India Radio in 1938. In 1947 when India got independence he was the first Indian to greet the newly independent country with his shahnai in front of Jawaharlal Nehru and everyone else Bismillah Khan impressed 
many people including King Zahir Shah of Afghanistan and the film director Vijay Bhatt. He was the first Indian to perform at the Lincoln Center Hall in the United States of America. He was also a part of the World Exposition in Montreal, the Cannes Festival and the Osaka Trade Fair. He was also rewarded with many cultural awards and also not to forget rewarded with Bharat Ratna. But after even having so much fame, his heart always remain in banaras he always stayed in banaras and always wants to come back to his home so this was all about the story of bismillah khan and here we have completed the chapter if you have any doubts please comment down below and also do not forget to like and subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching